What's up guys, Kyle here again, and today we're gonna talk about how my mongoose Ardor got stolen. All right guys, hope everyone is doing great out there today. My name is Kyle, and thanks for getting belligerent with me. So yeah, as I have made clear at this point, my mongoose Ardor got stolen last week. So we're gonna talk a little bit about how that happened and uh, what has happened since then. So I purchased a brand new mongoose Ardor from Walmart after watching a whole bunch of review videos. One just happened to come in stock and I really wanted to get my hands on it and maybe do a little review myself after spending some time with it. So I purchased this bike brand new. One thing that you guys should know about me is I don't ever buy things new unless they are on a deep discount. I always look for used items, so I really had to want this bike in order to purchase it new. But yeah, I bought it and rode it a couple of times. I actually filmed a review for it that I have yet to release for you guys. I'm going to hopefully put that up sometime within the next couple of weeks. But uh, overall, I was a little bit underwhelmed with the bike, but I knew that after adding some upgrades, I could really turn it into a fun and a capable bike. And I was really looking forward into diving into that and making some videos. But a week ago yesterday, I had my garage open and I was just kind of in and out of the garage, working on some stuff in the garage. This was Friday night in the evening. And I hopped in my car, ran around the corner to grab something from the store, was probably not gone more than 15 minutes. My girlfriend was home, the lights were on. And when I came back, the bike was gone. And the reason that I noticed this right away is because one of my other bikes was laying in the driveway, my Kent Truvail that I have made a couple videos on for you guys. Uh, earlier that day I had taken that bike for a ride and I actually got a flat on the way home so it was just kind of sitting in the garage with a flat tire I hadn't pulled it apart to patch it up yet well that bike was laying in the driveway and immediately I knew somebody had tried to steal the bike but the flat tire once they noticed it was there they dropped the bike and they bailed on that project so at the time I thought okay well that was kind of a blessing in disguise but then I remembered that I had pulled my R door off the wall hanger in order to kind of shuffle some bikes around and I was actually going to put the R door in storage for a little bit because I was planning on kind of saving the upgrades for later in the month and I just kind of wanted to get the bike out of the way for a while because my garage is getting cluttered and that's when I realized that the R door was gone and I was just immediately super bummed because I'm like, okay, I really wanted this bike. I was really looking forward to upgrading it. I was gonna kind of save it for a little bit towards the end of the year after I got some of my other videos out of the way. And yeah, Ardor was gone. Luckily my Kent Travail was still there and I didn't file a police report right away because I wanted to kind of take a look around the neighborhood and see if I could spot it. We live in a nice neighborhood, which is why I felt comfortable leaving my garage door open. I really didn't think twice about it and I've done stuff like that many times. The only thing is we do have a couple of kids around here where I have definitely noticed them getting into trouble or just mouthing off to people. And I really didn't think that they would be bold enough to walk up to my garage while somebody was home and steal the bike. But uh, lo and behold, something like that occurred. Now, I wasn't sure who it was at the time, but I had a pretty good idea that it was one of these younger kids. And I had a pretty good idea that I was gonna see that bike around the neighborhood again. So I didn't file the police report right away. Figured I would give it a few days, see if I spotted the bike anywhere. And on my rides to the bike park, I passed through a couple of the neighborhood streets and I figured I'd take a look. And I never really found anything. But yesterday, I was driving, I saw a bunch of kids on bikes around the corner from my house, and I just happened to pull by them very slowly, and guess what I saw? I saw my mongoose Ardor. So I immediately stopped the car right in the middle of the street, I got out of the car, and I looked at the kid who was on my bike, and I said, dude, seriously, give me my bike back. And he actually was bold enough to start taking off in the other direction, and as he's taking off in the other direction, he's like, no way, man, I bought this bike. And I said, no you didn't, because I put a couple upgrades on that bike that I can see plain as day, and I know that that is my bike. And he took off down the road while all of his friends sat there, so I actually turned my car around, I was gonna follow him, hoping that he would go to his house, and I could just, you know, call the police if he refused to give me my bike back and get it back that way. I really was kind of hoping to avoid the police in general, but he actually was able to get away from me before I turned around. He rode through some yards and I lost him. So. I circled back around, his friends were still sitting there, and I told his friends, hey guys, look, 
I'm not trying to get anybody in trouble. What happened here sucks, the fact that somebody stole the bike from my garage, but overall, I just want my bike back. So tell your friend, if by the time I get back to my house in 20 minutes, my bike is in my front yard, I won't call the cops on him. But if it's not back in my front yard by the time I get home, I'm gonna call the cops, I'm gonna file a police report, and you're probably gonna get caught because I know you guys live around here. And all of his friends uh, looked at me and nodded and they said, yeah, we didn't have anything to do with it, but we will definitely tell him. So I left my house, I came back, and guess what? No bike in the front yard. So I did exactly what I said I was gonna do. I called and filed a police report. An officer showed up at my house about five minutes after I placed the call. I gave him all the info of the kid, of the bike, showed him the pictures of the bike, my receipt for it and everything. And I straight up told the officer, I'm like, hey, I don't necessarily want to press charges on this kid. I just want the bike back. And he said that if he, the kid was found with the bike, that they would automatically press charges against him. So I said, all right, well, I gave him a fair shot and he didn't do the right thing. So officer took all my information took off down the road and I actually was on my way to ride my bike with a buddy of mine. So as I am loading my bike in, I turn around and what do I see? So the kid actually decided to do the right thing and rode the bike back to the house and he delivered it to me and he looked at me and he said, I'm sorry, man. He said, I apologize for my actions. Obviously, I know that this was wrong and I'm really, really sorry. I'm sorry I ran away. I just got scared when you confronted me. And I told him that he was doing the right thing by returning the bike. He mentioned that his friends had kind of peer pressured him into taking the bike. I don't know if that's true, but like I said, I see those kids around a lot. I know that they get up to not so good stuff when nobody's watching, so wouldn't put it past him. So I told him, find some new friends and you're doing the right thing here. I kept my word. I said, I'm not going to uh, report you to the police or anything because you did exactly what I told you to do. And I'm going to keep my word on that. So he looked at me again. He apologized. And as he started to walk away, I asked, actually asked him to come and shake my hand. I wanted to really reinforce the or give him some positive reinforcement for doing the right thing even though you know stealing the bike that was a really dumb move on his part and he could have just kept running after I confronted him but you know he may have just returned it because he knew that he was going to get busted sooner or later but even so I just kind of wanted to reinforce that he had done the right thing and I told him keep making good choices like this and stay away from his friends that uh that peer pressured him into taking the bike and uh, I told him that I appreciated his honesty and that seemed to kind of make a difference in his demeanor so I'm kind of hoping it left an impression but with all that being said we got the bike back let's take a look at it because it's not in the condition that I let it go in unfortunately all right so I had upgraded the handlebars and the grips and the pedals down here um, over here you can see they removed the front brake, the stock front brake that was still on the bike. And on the ends here, they actually busted off the end caps, unfortunately. Uh, these handlebars, these Yupin bike handlebars, were too high of a rise, and I actually was thinking about returning them to Amazon because they were still in new condition. I just put them on. They weren't super comfortable, but now they're all scratched up. The uh, end caps are busted off inside the handlebar ends, so not going to be able to do that but you know not a big deal considering i got the bike back i'm not going to complain too much he scratched up the frame over here if we can see that uh nothing terrible you know but there is some scratching right here he removed the front sticker he removed the mongoose stickers as well kind of did me a favor because i was planning on doing that anyways eventually not because i'm embarrassed of it being a mongoose but it just looks cleaner and then over here uh, he busted up the saddle a little bit. So other than that, the bike is in fine condition. Everything is still working on it. So it still leaves it as a good upgrade platform for me. But uh, yeah, happy to have the bike back. I just kind of wanted to let you guys in on that story. I found it pretty interesting. I kind of knew I was going to get the bike back eventually. I knew I was going to spot the kid riding it in the neighborhood. And that's exactly what happened. And again, I wanted to commend him for doing the right thing, for returning it and hopefully instill some sort of value into this kid after he had done something stupid and just let him know that when you do the right things 
hopefully things, you know, good things happen for you because that's how it should be. But just wanted to share that story with you. Hopefully you got a little entertainment out of it. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button on your way out. And uh, we'll see you when we review this Mongoose Ardor in the future. Kyle here again. We'll see you guys next time.